Evening folks, welcome to another Irish Whiskey Review with me, Marty McCauley. I hope you're all well. I hope everything's, well, everything is going well for you. Uh, as we are approaching Halloween, then we'll be moving over to November where all things Christmas we start to appear. Then it gets to December and really into Christmas overdrive and everybody's scrambling around looking for presents and lo and behold, you end up buying same sort of stuff you bought last year and giving the kids um, some money or vouchers. Yeah, that's what happens. They will buy lots of stuff. But that's for special occasions. We're going to review tonight this stuff. Dundalgan Stout Cast Finish from West Cork Distillers and sold in the supermarket brand. I will just tell you the brand because I don't really care whether people. Oh, you tell you have to mention other uh, other supermarkets will be available. Uh, it's sold at Lidl. Everybody knows this. I'm not don't have to be stupid and say oh I have to tell be balanced. We're not the BBC. We're not publicly funded, so we can say what we like. Um, although we're not allowed to swear apparently. Justin tells me off for this. I I anyone who doesn't know I am a guide. I'm a tour guide, tourist guide to be accurate. Um, and anyone who knows me in my private life, I swear, an unbelievable, um, almost unprecedented amount of swearing. You know what I mean? So I have to limit this. But I am thinking of forming a company called Tourette's Tours, where I basically just tell everybody to go themselves every two, every sort of two seconds in a polite way. Um, yeah. So if you ever see Tourette's Tours, it'll be me, and it's just berating people who come over and and are really daft or, or even just you know uh, whatever we'll see now this is a stout cask finished aged in bourbon oak barrels finished in craft stout barrels uh, triple distilled matured and bottled in Ireland put up to cork 42% natural colour yes 42% now, distilled, matured and blended by the prestigious West Cork Distillers, located in Skibbereen. They have gen generations of distilling knowledge and are the largest wholly, owned, wholly Irish owned distillery in the country of Ireland. So there you go. And they are. West Cork have kind of flown under the radar a little bit because they, they, they released their own product, but they're much better. Bigger products are sold up to other companies. They are quite a big concern these days and growing and growing and growing and more part to them, you know. Um, they are to be uh, celebrated. But yeah, they are growing and growing and growing. And some people might be surprised just how big they are actually these days. But good for them, you know. We like success. And the fact that they're still wholly owned by Irish people, uh, Irish distilling. It's nice. It's not, not necessarily all that important, but it is nice. So, a blend, mix it up blend, a, an amalgamation, a marriage, a, a, a joining of unions between whiskey and stout, two things totally associated with Ireland. Right, on the nose, it's, you know what? You wouldn't think it's having to do with stout casks. Really, really fresh. Mm. Quite lemony, actually. Quite citrusy. A little bit limey. Um, to start off with. It's a little bit confusing, if I'm honest. Now, I'll just put in a caveat for this. This is about... £22 a bottle, it's dead, dead cheap for a single malt finished, a craft stout barrel finished. This this is extremely cheap. Um, for some for people who have made this spirit and don't have the heritage and tradition of some of the bigger distilleries who have been on the go for decades and decades, almost feels like millennia, they, these guys have, have produce exceptionally good spirit 
and to put it in at a price point really does mean they have to have volume immediately as opposed to lots of old reserve and old stock and stuff that they can bring out and add that really doesn't cost a huge amount for a big player uh, in, in general terms. So this is part of a range by the way there's there's other ones a sherry cast finish an IPA cast finish and a is it a bourbon double bourbon or something I can't remember I can't remember what it is but these are available um, from uh, the supermarkets and it's nice that supermarkets are, are starting to to buy in Irish whiskies that are not the, the standard fare and bring out bring out a wider appeal in the US beginning to hear that there are lots and lots of different sourced whiskies being put on the shelves with different different names for different places it's getting the brand out there getting the brand out there um, and hope they all get a bit of traction I wish them all well I wish every one of them the best because I appreciate just how hard a lot of these guys are working um, really just to make any headway at all and talk, talking to some of the guys the sheer expense and the amount of work that they have to do to get the product out because initially there ain't no money coming in <laughs> they're not making any b big money nobody's going to beat down your door because you've got a new gin involved you need to go out and bang your drum keep yourself going get the right thing catch them on your breaks i assume and that's why the likes of these guys down at west cork good on them you know they're bringing out a quality they're bringing out a Reasonably quality, reasonably priced quality product. What's not the like? Very fresh, citrusy, white grape. There is some melon. It's that kind of fresh fruit. It's surprising um, because I wouldn't necessarily put it down. If someone reached me that, I wouldn't know that that was a, a stout cask um, or necessarily even a bourbon cask. It, it doesn't have that note to it. He would be slightly confused as to what what that was going to be. Slightly medicinal sweetie. A um, little bit sharp. Um, some honey. Uh, your liquid pouring honey. Um, the, finish, the finish does nice things. The finish has a little bit more complexity than either the nose or the palate. And on the finish doesn't necessarily develop that much but it does have a presence and it does have a a certain note that carries on through the, the, the finish is actually quite pleasant um, without developing a huge amount yeah Fresh oak. A little bit of hazelnut. Woody character. Hazelnut shell. Um, the fibres inside of the shell that tastes like that sort of woody uh, note that you get. Again, from the finish, that honey's there. And there is that little citrusy note that comes through. Not as creamy as some of the other stout cast finishes that you get. It's probably not trying to be like that. Um, yeah, it's quite nice. It doesn't have the bitter notes that you get with uh, with stout a lot of the time. But this is, this is perfectly serviceable. Um, but the price point is at, I mean, it's, it's bargain price. And due to... To have that, to, to have a drink of that, picking it up, you want to drink every night, don't be drinking every night guys, but if you want to drink of an evening, pick this up, you'll not be disappointed, it's not, it's not, nothing offensive about it, um, 
Best whiskey in the world? No, it's not. But it's not trying to be. It's trying to be a decent quality whiskey that people can afford and don't feel guilty about spending the money on. I have to mark it. I'll give it six and a half out of ten. Um, there's probably there is better quality for slightly more, uh, more taste for slightly more. But this is different. And it gives people an entry level chance of trying the different cast finishes, seeing if there's a difference with them, seeing if they like the differences, seeing if it's something that they would purchase again. And this is where the stability of the Irish market will be. We know that. Long term. There's only so many single cask offerings that people can bring out. There's only so many um, experimental cask finishes that people can bring out in volume. So we know this. So the likes of this is where the market is heading. And it's where it's always it's inevitably going to head. So, yeah. Six and a half out of ten. Pick a bottle up. You know, if you don't like whiskey, you, you, you only buy vodka or a certain brand of gin or something, pick up a bottle of something like this. It's only going to cost you £20. Pound and uh, it'll be rewarding. Okay? Just give it a try. See how it goes. It's 42%. It's a little bit Interesting. Adds a little thing to it. It shows that they think about these things and they actually care about it. It's that little two percent adds a little bit of tax. You know, they could have cut it to forty. Price would have been even lower again. What they really would have done was cut it to forty, keep it at the same price, and make a little bit more money. It's me being cynical, folks, but it's probably true. So yeah, have a word at it. Decent, reasonably priced whiskey. What's not to like? Give it a go, guys, okay? So, Dundalgan, Stout Cast Finish. And don't forget to join me and Justin, Irish Whiskey View, 10pm, Saturday night. Take care, guys. Thank you.